AITA for choosing my senior cat over my sister and potentially allowing her to become homeless. I am not Oop. Oop is U.T. Waldcat. She posted in R, Am I the Asshole? Your fun fact to cover up spoilers. You, Rosette Abyss requested Sandcats. Sandcats live in three parts of the world. The Saharan Desert, Arabian Peninsula and parts of Central Asia. They have dense hair and pads on their feet that help protect them in their native environments. They eat small rodents, birds, insects and even venomous snakes. Trigger warning. Pet surgery. Less than. Mood spoiler. The cat is fine. Less than. Original post. March 2nd, 2023. I will preface this by saying that my mother treated my sister and I differently. I was always less than. While she could do no wrong. She'd always buy my sister everything she wanted. While I wore her hand-me-downs. I moved out at 18. Worked through college. Went NC with mom and LC with sister and our paths diverged greatly from there. I now work in a field that pays well. While she is a SOM. I guess I never quite got over this. And while I know the main awe is my mother and my sister didn't really know any better. I still fester negative feelings towards both of them. I found Tom in a bag as a newborn kitten. He was the only one still alive and I raised him over summer break when I was 13. Then, when school started, my mother got rid of him and I had to go through great and extreme lengths to find out where she dumped him. Took me a week to find him and we've been together ever since. For a few months Tom hasn't really been okay and has been slowly declining. The vet, however, based on the recent blood panel we did, was confident that he still has some life left to live and said that he's by far the healthiest geriatric cat she's seen in a while. Thus, we decided to try out surgery to improve his quality of life. Even though he's 21, this surgery comes with a price tag. I'm not in the US, but it's around three months worth of minimum wage in my country. It won't set us back much, hardly an inconvenience. But we'll be frugal just in case complications happen. He's scheduled for Monday. Fingers crossed. Anyway, my sister dropped by on Sunday. Which was strange. We haven't spoken since she massied me a Merry Christmas gif on FB. Looks like her husband jumped onto the NFT bandwagon and they're kinda broke in a few months. Behind on mortgage and asked if I could help her out with the payments. Since they're at risk of becoming homeless. I said I'm sorry she's going through this. But this is not a good time for me either. Enlisted the reasons above. I do not want to ever be in a situation where my cat's life depends on $100 that I cannot afford to pay. I suggested she got a job and maybe downsize, move in with mother while they get back up on their feet. She did not take this well called me a c n t and a crazy cat lady that's going to end up alone plus some other nice words i kicked her out my mother and other relatives have been spamming me through the week for being heartless and caring more about an animal than my own flesh and blood my husband says i could have just given her some cash to avoid the drama and he's right i could have this is why i feel like i might be the awe in the end the main reason I chose not to help is due to my childhood baggage. AITA? Cat tax. He's not looking his best. But. HTTPS. Imager.com slash KSRDB. Relevant comments. About why she's spending money on an old cat. I get what you're saying. But I saw the blood tests. 90% of the values are within range. I cannot. In good faith. Put down an objectively healthy cat. Especially one that has been with me through thick and thin. I struggled a lot before going this route. Tried everything I could to avoid dragging him through surgery. It's gotten to the point where I can have him operated on and maybe eve for a few more years or put him down. A technically healthy cat with oral issues. 
I'm okay with being Ta if it means he gets to live pain-free a while longer. Boop is voted NTA. Update post. March 10th, 2023. Eight days later. Thank you so much to all of you who have wished Tom good luck on his surgery. I'm ecstatic to let you know all went well. I was a bit cautious on providing an update, as I wanted to make sure he is indeed doing better before celebrating. On the weekend leading to the big day I bought him his favorite food these tiny fish that in my country are generally eaten whole, fried, anchovies, that he loves to gobble up raw. I only ever give those as a treat maybe a few times a year since they're not exactly healthy for cats. But I made an exception since, you know, things could have gone terribly bad. The operation went great. Vet said there were no complications. I got him home in the afternoon of and he slept it off until midnight. When he started asking for food, he's been eating like he's trying to make up for the weight loss he suffered. He's also been more alert these days. Started following me around again and begging for food and it looks like he's sleeping better. 2. He would generally just lay awake on his cat bed all day. Looking unhappy. Now he's sleeping soundly between meals. The only discomfort he has is related to the stitches on his gums. But they should fall off in a few weeks. Honestly. It's like they didn't remove only his teeth, but also a chipped off a few years. I'd also like to thank all of you that called me out on using him as an excuse. You're right, I was using him as an excuse. No has never been a full sentence for me. So I am now actively looking into finding a good therapist I still stand by my decision of not helping my sister out though. And many numbers and social media accounts have been blocked. I'm thinking about leaving this account active and add a final update in a week or a month or a year or whenever it's time to bid Tom farewell. But for now, he seems happy, so I've no doubt I made the right choice. Dental surgery can have a crazy positive impact on a pet's quality of life. My little old pup has zero teeth, but all the energy and attitude of a young gun Glad she got more time with her sweet boy. I love how the update was all about her cat and how much she loves him. And the sister was an afterthought. Lol. Good decision not to give the sister money when she doesn't even have a job. Tend to your own garden first. I recommend either saying no and giving no reason. Or saying I can't afford to. Repeat repeat. Any time you give an explanation to someone wanting a loan or a favor. The details you give them a tool to dig with to try to change your mind. Or just piss them off. So just say no I can't. With few details. And I recently paid for oral surgery for my 17 year old cat. She is now pain free and eating better. It was worth it. Honestly. Who do you think cares about you more? Tom or your sister? I think you have your answer there. Edit. Typo. My dog has been sick with a lethal diagnosis since October. I was told he had, a few weeks, left. But here he is happy and healthy. If somewhat incontinent. Pets or family. Her sister is not. Why can't she get the money from her mom? Her in-laws. Any number of people? OMG not NFTS loudly crying that situation is sadly deserved. Top notch mood spoiler, thanks Oop. I'm so glad Oop did the surgery and gets more time with her kitty. When my cat Pip, aka best kitty in the world, was about 13, he stopped eating. The vets thought something in his mouth was inflamed. I paid a ton of money and fed him smelly. Expensive blended food through a tube in his neck for about three weeks. I could never have let him starve to death and I would go through that again in a heartbeat. Pip was with us for another three awesome years. Rip to Pip Rex Rex Roth Red Heart Red Heart. That is the scruffiest, most judgmental looking looking cat I've seen on the internet this week and I would give him my 
Last $5 as a tribute. We love you Tom. This turned out beautifully. Hope Op gets a few more years with Tom. Also hope her sister gets a job and grows up. Totally unimportant to the story but as it smelt? The fish? Yum. I love old cats. Tom is a great one. I hope he lives the rest of his years happy and pain-free and still can have the occasional anchovy. Tom looks so good for 21. What a beautiful boy. Peak stupidity is invest your money in NFT. Good thing that Oop doesn't waste her money in such imbecile people. I'm so happy for Tom Hart. I hope he has a good few years with Oop. I can really relate to this one. Sometimes it's really hard to let go of the resentment. I feel guilty sometimes over not wanting to. The scars left behind are too deep to forget. My favorite BORU for a while. I love when a pet surgery goes well on an older pet. 21 year old cat happy again? Hell yes. I don't know why people called her out on using the cat as an excuse. The cat was her reasoning for being low on money so she wasn't wrong for that. Even though she still wouldn't have given the sister money without the cat needing surgery it was. Better to explain why she was saying no in a nicer way instead of creating more problems for her. The sister could have gotten violent if she had given all her reasons while she was standing in front of her. But either way, getting the cat surgery was definitely the priority and she had no reason to help her sister even if they got along. I helped my sister keep her home years ago and she ended up losing it anyway. I wasn't going to help her but she found out how much money I had from other people. I had discussed loaning her the money with other family to see if they thought I should and they told her and asked me. I felt bad for her even though I was a single mom with four children and disabled and she and her husband could work and earn enough to live on. In the end they still lost the house because they didn't manage their money correctly. They still go shopping every day even though they live with her mom. And I wish I'd never loaned them the money but I won't let it come between our relationship. Thankfully, we have always had a great relationship. Had she helped her sister it probably wouldn't have saved the house in the long run because they've proven to be bad at budgeting. Op did the right thing all the way around. I had my kitty get his dental done. It's like night and day. He feels so much better and he's my world. Sometimes. I can just tell from the first few lines about the entire situation. Family had a golden child one that got mentally, physically, emotionally abused who moved out at 18. Went NC finished college. And now doing really well. Living in their own house. Own business etc. Down the road in couple years now the golden child is the failed one and in need of help. Parents either are broke themselves, in need of help or won't help the GC and they all are looking at the OOP for help. OOP either has a GFBF, sick pet that GC parents don't like and OP has to choose between them and their own needs and here comes the shiny spine that makes people stand in their seats and clap until their hands are red. I love Tom, and he is a beautiful kitty. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.